hustle is there. So if people can see, you know, beyond the, the, the ring and they can see, like, all the effort that you do to, like, not only make yourself better, to make others better, like, that's what I want to leave, you know? And I think, like I said, having this, like, what we, my husband and I, were able to, like, or are trying to build and create uh, for other women, it's, it's just, like, that's what I, I think, that's one of the things that I want, want to be my legacy, like, that place and where women got their first shot or they got their shot and people are, like, looking at them and then they, other, other doors were open for them kind of like what they did for me. So, you know, we have the platform, but social media is a great platform. And it has been a great platform for me. <laughs> Definitely. Well, thank you so much for your time, and I appreciate all the questions that you've answered, and you get a lot of the support, not only from myself, but also from my co-hosts, and we look forward to seeing what more creative ways and more you know ideas that you have coming up with Lucha Underground, which is reaching its mid-season finale next week. Not looking forward to that, because I love Lucha Underground. <laughs> yeah, Lucha Underground is pretty cool. I, I'm like, I mean, it's just, it's just like I said, it's so different when you're like taping something and then you see it on TV and how it comes down. I, I honestly, like when I saw that first, uh, I know I, I, I need to let you go, but when I saw the first uh, vignette when I left on the throne, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> and, like, you can be part of it and then like you are a character. Or, like, part of you is the character, and it's, like, totally different than you are. It's like, oh, my God! You know, and it's, <laughs> and it's just your beers in there, too, and how awesome and how kick-ass they look. Honestly, such a cool thing to do and, and to be on TV. Now I can tell my, my grandkids, your grandmother was a queen one time. She used to have a dragon as a pet. And she used to drag him around the temple. <laughs> hey, that's why I was doing all those major tweets saying, like, you know, the queen arrives, the queen is coming, because I thought, you know what, this is a great character for her, I'm loving it, so definitely need to make, take, capitalize on that, that's awesome, but again, but again, thank you so much for your time, I know that you got a busy schedule, so we're gonna let you go, but again, thank you so much for your time, it is an honor and a privilege to be talking to you, to you, and thank you so much for all your time. I hope you're bowing down to me. So, you know, if you don't, you're going to suffer the same fate as Drago. Uh, <laughs> uh, with a word. I will definitely, I, I will definitely keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, keep that in mind, because you're not going to like what I'm going to be. <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, of course, guys, that has been the Squirt Circle Podcast and the special Lucha Underground edition here starring uh, Thunder Rosa, a.k.a. Cobra Moon from Lucha Underground. Of course, you can find us on Spreaker.com, iTunes, Player.fm, PodDirectory.com, Stitcher.com, TuneIn Radio, IW Nerd, Satchel Podcast Player for the Android and smartphone, as well as CastBot.fm and Mr. NTG1990 on YouTube. We will be back later on tonight with our review of the week, including Lucha Underground. So, guys, stay tuned. And, of course, see you guys in just a bit. Bye-bye.